Good morning. Here, uh, the topic is compressibility and uh, bulk modulus of elasticity. So since we are talking about compressibility, so normally uh, solids are considered to be incompressible for most of the engineering calculations. Okay, those solids also can be compressed, but generally compressibility of solids are not considered. But uh, compressibility of fluids are considered. In most of the cases, liquids are considered to be incompressible and gases are considered to be compressible. But uh, I want to say that uh, liquids as well as gases can be considered as uh, incompressible as well as compressible. The flow of gas can be considered incompressible also for certain cases okay and for uh, flow of liquids can also can also be considered as compressible for certain cases okay those things will be discussed uh, in my next video and uh, here just i am going to uh, give you the def definition of compressibility and bulk modulus of elasticity of fluids so whenever we are talking about fluid, that means it is both liquid and gas. Okay, both are considered together. So here, first of all, I should say that compressibility is defined as the reciprocal of bulk modulus of elasticity. Reciprocal means if bulk modulus of elasticity is k, then compressibility is equal to one by k. So reciprocal means what? The product of the two terms should be or the two variables should be one product okay so compressibility is defined as reciprocal of bulk modulus of elasticity now how bulk modulus of elasticity is defined compressibility uh, sorry bulk modulus of elasticity it is defined as uh, it is defined by k it is denoted by k not defined by k it is denoted by k and k is written as uh, increase in pressure divided by volumetric strain not increase in pressure actually it is change in pressure change may be positive change may be negative also okay so k is defined as change in pressure okay change in pressure and since we are talking about pressure that means we are talking about fluid okay for solids the term pressure is not used instead normal stress that term is used for solids normal stress but pressure this term is used only for liquids and gases that means only for fluids okay so k means bulk modulus of elasticity is defined as change in pressure divided by volumetric strain volumetric strain okay volumetric strain so suppose uh, change in pressure is dp okay change in pressure is dp means say initially the pressure was p finally it becomes p plus dp say initially the pressure was p finally it becomes p plus dp and initial the volume was v line we are using v line to denote volume because normally in fluid mechanics v is used to denote velocity and that's why we are using this symbol v line okay so v line uh, it represents initial volume and say the v line becomes when pressure uh, increases by the amount dp then what will happen if pressure increases volume will decrease because uh, because what it is known to you, if pressure increases, volume decreases. If pressure decreases, then volume increases. Okay. So, uh, V will change to what? V minus dV. Okay. This will happen. Right. And suppose just the reverse case. Suppose the initial pressure was P and finally it becomes P minus dP. Right. And initially the volume was V and finally it becomes V plus dV. 
right? So whatever with the case, change in pressure is how much? Change in pressure it is dp, right? It is dp. Change in pressure is dp, whether it is positive or negative. Change in pressure is dp, and volumetric strain how it is defined? It is defined as change in volume divided by original volume or the initial volume, not original volume, initial volume. Change in volume divided by initial volume. So change in volume is how much? It is dp line, right? It is dp line. And what is the initial volume? It is v line. Okay. But mathematically, still this is wrong because we know that the sine of dp and sine of dv are opposite to each other. If dp is positive, then dv is negative, means dv line. And if dp, dp is negative, then dv line is positive. So, we have to take care of the sine also. Otherwise, uh, mathematically, erroneous result you will get. So, we need to put a negative sign in front of dv by v. If you want, you can put this negative sign in front of dp also. Okay? Okay? Both are correct. So, this way, bulk modulus of elasticity of fluid is defined. So, this is how much? This is equal to minus dp by dv line into v line. Okay? Uh, let me check. Uh, yeah, that is visible. So this is what? This is bulk modulus of elasticity. Let me write right here. Bulk modulus of elasticity. Okay. This is bulk modulus of elasticity. Therefore, what is compressibility? Compressibility. Right? This is equal to? This is equal to reciprocal of bulk modulus of elasticity that is 1 by k this is 1 this is k 1 by k and if you may, uh, do this then what you will get 1 uh, sorry this is 1 this is 1 and here you are getting dp by dv line v line okay then this is equal to what minus dv line by dp v line uh, no v line will appear sorry 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 uh, a silly mistake was going to be committed by me uh, here v will appear here dp will appear and instead of writing this one you directly write minus dv line right so this is compressibility minus dv line by v line dp this is what this is compressibility okay this is compressibility later i'll show you uh, for different cases how compressibility is calculated okay in my next video you will get uh, that discussion okay so, this is the end of this video. Thank you for watching this video. Have a beautiful day to all of you.